Hey agents, welcome to the daily target of loot allocation for July 15th, 2020. This is Shadow Gaming. Subscribe and like if you enjoy the content. So let's get started with the Dark Zones. We got Marksman Rifles and DZ West. And we got Mass and DZ South. So if you're looking for the Hollow Man Mass with 10% health damage, I'd grab that up today for sure. And then we got Submachine Guns and DZ East. So if you're looking for the apartment with perfectly measured, I'd grab that up as well today if you can. North side highlights, we do got Badger Tough at Camp White Oak, Light Machine Guns at Coney Island Ballpark, Richter and Kaiser at Coney Island Amusement Park, and Murakami Industries at Manning National Zoo. So if you need that extra 10% skill duration, I'd head over to Manning National Zoo for Murakami. Richter and Kaiser at Coney Island Amusement Park, if you're looking for that 10% uh, incoming repairs for a healer build, that's a good spot to farm. There's light machine guns at Coney Island Ballpark and over here at DARPA Research Labs if you're looking for the Bullet King or Pestilence. So you could choose which one to farm. Light machine guns aren't anywhere else today. And then Badger Tough for that 10% shotgun damage if you need it. Highlights for the west side, we do got holsters at West End if you're looking for the Imperial Dynasty or the Forge. Chest pieces at Federal Emergency Bunker. Uh, we also got rifles at bank headquarters if you're looking for Merciless or Diamondback or a classic M1A or Baker's Dozen. Walker Harrison Co. at Foggy Bottom if you're looking for the Chain Killer. And we also got Seska at Roosevelt Island if you're looking for that 10% crit hit chance. One Piece Gloves at Lincoln Memorial if you're looking for BTSU Gloves or Contractor's Gloves. Same with Petra Defense at West Potomac Park. China Light at Tidal Basin if you need that 10% explosives damage from the One Piece. Same with Fenris for 10% AR damage at the Pentagon, and Wyvernware for some 10% skill damage from One Piece as well. Alright, highlights for the east side, we got shotguns at Downtown East, and we got Grupo Sumbro at Southwest. Those are the two XP farm videos I have out, Demolition Site and No Hope Hotel. I just farmed this for like 2 or 3 hours straight uh, yesterday. Um, man i mean I, we almost got all the apparel caches like i managed to get all this new apparel it was really cool i like it and uh i think it was marks and rifles last time yesterday so we got like three or four mantises and nemesises and then right when it turned shotgun targeted loot uh we got two sweet dreams so that was really cool it was funny too but yeah, um, knee pads at Grand Washington Hotel. So if you're looking for Fox Bears knee pads, Sawyer's knee pads, or Ninja Bike Messenger knee pads, Grand Washington Hotel is a good place to farm. Or Raw the Holdings if you need that 10% marksman rifle damage. Chess pieces at Jefferson Trade Center if you don't want to farm over here at Federal Emergency Bunker. Assault rifles at East Mall if you want the Chameleon. P416 variants for Mosses or the Chameleon, of course. Gila Guard for shield builds, and you got Providence Defense at Air and Space Museum for DPS builds, and backpacks at Capitol Building if you need a specific backpack. Group of Sumbra at No Hope Hotel if you're looking for explosives damage build for 15% explosives damage on the two piece or the first piece, which is 15% crit hit damage for a DPS build. And gear sets at Space Administration HQ, everything except for Foundry Bulwark and Future Initiative chest and backpack pieces. All right, New York City, we got Providence Defense at the Tombs, 511 at Civic Center, Golong Gear at Two Bridges, Gear System Mods at Stranded Tanker, Skill Attachments at Pathway Park, a Rollo Holding at Battery Park, Pistols at Financial District, Shotguns at Wall Street, and Richter and Kaiser at Liberty Island. I don't really recommend anything over here today unless you prefer farming Providence Defense at the Tombs instead of over there at DC area. Golong Gear is the only real specific one over here you can farm for. And if you want to farm for the Sweet Dreams, I really recommend heading up the XP farm. If you run that for a few hours, guaranteed someone in that group is going to drop a Sweet Dreams or yourself. So I would definitely check out the Demolition Site XP farm. Uh, I'll link the video in the card above and in the pinned comment below. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for the Daily Target of Loot Allocation for July 15th, 2020. Shadow Crew Clan is getting a little bit stronger every day. We're still on PC and PS4, and we're still looking for someone to be the clan leader for the Xbox Clan Shadow Crew SHA. If you want to join our Discord server, the link is always in the pen comment below and every video description. Thank you guys so much for all the support and love you guys have shown me the past like year or so, year and a half. I really appreciate it. The channel's growing to be bigger and bigger. 
and I really appreciate it. I work so hard on this channel and I love all the support and all the feedback. Comment below on what you guys want to see next. I got some videos in the works. I feel a lot better for my root canal and I'm ready to get back to work on this channel again. All right, guys, well, take care, subscribe and like if you enjoy the content, and I'll see you in the next video. Shadow Gaming, signing off.